Folks, back on the river today with my good friend here, Ronnie Leatherwood. Hey, y'all. And don't y'all look right there at poor Ronnie's eye. Yeah, the other day, Saturday, I was putting in by myself at the ramp. Usually hold on to the truck or the trailer, but somehow or another, my feet went out from under me and I busted the concrete or my trailer. I don't know what I hit, but wow. man, I had a goose egg. It knocked me cold as a wedge. Wow. And it was hard to fish, but I wound up catching nine that day. <laughs> <laughs> He went on fishing. Yeah. Oh, good, him, boy. oh my gosh. First Ronnie's first throw. Oh my goodness. Ronnie's a big and I didn't see him good. Small but small map. I do believe he's gonna be close. Lord have mercy. He's gonna be close. Look at that. Golly. Which way are you gonna bring him? What, what's I'm up? I'm gonna bring him to you. Okay. Look at that bit. Lord have mercy, Ronnie. Right, I can't help. We get excited. Right there. Got him, son. Look at there. What a big, nice, beautiful. <laughs> Small mouth. That's the way to start off a fishing video. What'd you say, Ronnie? That's the way to start off a fishing video right there. <laughs> Look at that. Woo. Boy, you just got him right in the snood, too. Yeah. That's a good enough. Hey, we're going to weigh that. I'm gonna, Ronnie, I'm going to put him in the bait tank, get my bub scales out. Boy, look at all that bait in that tank right there. We got her loaded. I mean, loaded. Oh. God, don't look at that. Shut the lid when they do that. <laughs> okay. Golly. Okay, let's see what this near weighs. That small mouth right there, Ronnie Leatherwood, that you just caught, three pounds and 13 ounces. Very good. How about that, Ronnie? Very three pounds, 13 ounces. That's the way I like started yeah. off. Yeah. All right, folks, I'm turning left. Turn old Ronnie. Right. Look at that, there he went back down there. Hey, Woo. congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> let's catch a nut. These thread fin shad we're using, that looks like they're about three and a half, four inches long, most of them, y'all can see right there. I'm just gonna hook them. We're just hooking them right up through the lip, just like it. Any cast Ronnie and I makes out here, you can catch a, you know, a good quality uh, upper end smallmouth bass or a spotted bass or a largemouth bass or just any kind of fish on this live bait. I mean, just all kinds of fish in the river eats us, eats us right here, eats us bait we're fishing with. And it's a lot of fun to fish with. Uh oh, uh -oh Ronnie said, uh oh. Oh, he can bow up on a nut. Is he on it, Ronnie? You got a nut? Oh, Lord, he got a nut. He's got another big one on. Oh, look at him working over. He's up on that boat. Got to leave, Ronnie. I got to get his nut. No one. Boy, get him out of that boy. He's going to jump when he comes out of the boat. Golly. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Ronnie, that's a mean mouth, I think. Yeah. Woo. Look at there, another big one. <laughs> we having fun now. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. we having fun. That's another good one. So, that's a mean mouth right there. Look at that. Yeah, it is. It is. Poor Ronnie's eye right there ain't slowed him down a bit. <laughs> Look at that. Another nice. Now, that's a mean mouth right there. That's cross between a small mouth and a yep. spotted bass. Beautiful. Yeah, probably, probably, what, three pounds, three and a half pounds? So we're not gonna we're not gonna weigh this one. We turn him loose, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, Ronnie Red catching nothing. Boy. Ronnie ain't cutting me no slack today. <laughs> get out there and get a nut. <laughs> Do it. Oh Lord, how mercy. I'm just sitting here spot lock with my Ultrax trolling motor out here. Got the nose pointing into the current. This Tennessee River out right here. Whaler Lake. We fishing on Whaler right here. Hey. Tell folks, this is the first time me and you ever fished yeah, on this part of the river, right? It is. I've, I've, I fished Wheeler all my life. I've never fished these bridge columns. Never. Ever. Not yeah. ever. First time. Ron is the bluff master, and he's fishing under a bridge. Yeah. You're the bridge master, I think. What'd you say, Ronnie? I think you're the bridge master. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie said he's the bluff master, and I'm the bridge master. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take that title. I do love fishing bridges. Hard me to pass up a good bridge. If I think there's fish around. Them. You know why I like to fish bridges, Ronnie? Because there's always fish around. Them. Yeah. There it is. This is a good one. Oh, I got a drag puller right here, boy. Mm -hmm. You got yours, Ronnie? Oh, my goodness, what a big smallmouth bass run has got, and I got one on here too. Golly, I just, oh, I got, 
Bubba. Run. Bubba. You, you definitely got a Bubba. Oh, that's a big one there, boy. He got a big black spot on it. I'm gonna get Ronnie first. I got his. Ronnie, pick him, put him in the live well. Oh, that's a big one there. Oh, Lord, I gotta get mine in. I don't know what I got. <laughs> I got a stinking drum. Look at what I got. I got a bugle mouth. Ronnie got a big, pretty small mouth. Well, folks, I tell you, it's one of the noisiest bridges I've fished around in a while, but we are catching some smallmouth. Ronnie is, he just caught that. I mean, hey, Ronnie, that's the biggest one you've caught with me in a while. It is. And I'm anxious to put this on him above scales. See, get her out of there, Ronnie, and let's take a look at her. We got her in the bait tank. You talking about a big, long, lanky smallmouth. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. And hey, look at them black spots on her. Look at it right here. Them on both sides. Yeah, right there. See, that's, that's called melanosis. And then look at that big black spot right there. Hey, that kind of matches your eyeball. <laughs> All right, Ron. Yeah, okay. Let's... All right, Ron, let's put her on there and see what she's going to weigh. Boy, that's a fine fish right there. The fish right there weighs four pounds, three ounces. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's turn her left. Fishing with my Ardent Pro Series rod today instead of the white one I normally use, and I've got a uh, G-Force reel. I've got 40-pound braid with a 12-pound leader with a number two hook and a number four split shot. Got a small split shot. There you go. We think catching up. Ronnie it. said there he is. He oh, he's got it. John, Ronnie's got another good one. Is that a big one too, Ronnie? Yeah. <laughs> Son. Ronnie Leatherwood is on. Oh my goodness, where's the net at, son? Cool, he got another big one. Ronnie done, he, he's on these big fish, son. <laughs> that's another bubble. Good Lord, that's bigger than that other you caught. <laughs> Ronnie, he is. that's bigger than old Spot. Yeah, he is. Goodness. Now, anytime Ronnie and I catch a big fish, you know, if we're going to weigh him or keep him out of the water at any length of time, we always put him in this bait tank right here. Ronnie, he just put that big small mouth there. I think that's the biggest one you've caught in Today, a while. Yeah, you know what? Okay, all right, let's see what she weighs. She weighs four pounds, two ounces. All right. See right there? All right. Folks, two, four pounds, two ounces. That's a good fish. That's a pitcher taker, too. All right. Okay. Folks, I tell you what, when Ronnie Little Woods on a roll, he's on a roll. He's on a roll. All right, Ronnie, turn it up. Where's another? Wow. I, I got him. I don't think he's no good. Nah, he little. Oh, man, he could have been. Look at what he done. He knocked that man across with that hook right there, y'all. Look at that. Oh, man, or bless his heart. Oh, man. Oh, man, or bless his heart. I don't know how he did that. Fix your hair. Huh? My hair messed up. Ronnie, is my hair messed up? Is it really? There you go. Good Lord, Ronnie said my hair is messed up. Why didn't you tell me earlier? <laughs> now folks, I'm gonna tell you, sometimes when these big smallmouth, like Ronnie's been catching, they'll gang up and that's all you'll catch is good ones. And, uh, or you'll catch several of them, because usually these smallmouth, they'll, they'll, they stay together in their size. In other words, the big ones are kind of hang together and the smaller ones are hang together. So hopefully there's some more bigger ones out here. Um, I have pulled up behind these bridge columns like this right here and caught five or six big smallmouth in just one little wolf pack before. Here he is right here. Oh Lord, I just had one hit it. Oh yeah, he's on it. He's on it. Here he is. Uh, so, see what this is. Mmm, a little better fish than what I've been catching, but still not a, no. Man, pretty nice. Oh Lord, he pulling good. That's a nice, Oh, that's a nice, that's a pretty nice fish. Nice body bass, I think that's what that is. Yeah. That's a pretty nice little spotted bass right there. Oh, look at it. Oh, got some meat on his bone. Get him by the lip, just like that. Ron, did you get another bite? Oh, Lord, look, look what, what a pretty fish. Hey, folks, it don't take a giant fish to have fun fishing. Does it, Ronnie Leatherwood? Oh. Ronnie, honed in back here, boy. How's your eye doing? Good. Lord have mercy. I'm glad we went back and caught this fresh bait. I am too. Yeah. You gotta have a lively minute to do this right here now, I'm telling you. 
Now most of the fish, are, they've been right out in here. They ain't really, unless they getting after it up there and chasing it all the way down here, I don't know, but a lot of times they'll get right up against that bridge column right there when you got a lot of current where that little eddy is. Now Ronnie been catching them way back here. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Good. Come on, jump. What is it? Good. Oh, I feel like I'm deep sea fishing. They just keep pulling out drag. Yeah. Yeah, goodness. This near field, he's, he's putting up a tussle. Look at what a drone. Come on, Lee. Now that, that's what I call a drone right there, boys. That's a bubble drone. <laughs> that's a bubble drone. My goodness, no wonder he was pulling drag. Golly. Huh, I don't know. That's a good one. Well. Well, folks, I'm going to have to show y'all some of my drum if I'm going to show you any of my big fish. So, anyway, that's my big drum. Woo! That thing hit me right in the mouth. I tell you something, too, folks. When you, when, you get, when you get a boat set like we got this boat set and you're catching these kind of fish, don't move. There's something about the way this boat set right now, the way it carries your bait down through there into these fish. These fish are laying like this right here into the currents and we're throwing up and just letting that bait come right down in front of them. And uh, the way the boat's set right now is just right, especially for Ronnie back there, uh, for these fish, the way they're staged up down there, whatever they're behind or whatever they're doing down there. So when I, when I set my boat on a place like this and they bite like this, I don't, I, don't, I don't mess with it. I got it spot locked right here and I'm leaving it just like this. Right now it's 4.30 in the evening. Still got plenty of time to catch two or three more really nice big small mouth bass or spots, whatever. There he is right here. Hope he just let it go. He had it. Did he come back and get it? Most time, if one grabs it, if you'll just drop you and they let it go, if you'll just drop your pole back down, drop the rod tip, drop that minnow back down, see he come back and got it. See right here, look here. He come back and got it. And I got him. It's a good fish, I think. Uh, definitely a. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's a nice. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a little large mouth, I think. Yeah, that's a little large mouth. Yeah, that's nice. Ronnie got another. Drag puller. He got your pole bent pretty good. What's Ronnie got? Oh my goodness. Let me scoop him. That's another good one. <laughs> that's the biggest spot yet. Yeah. Golly, look at that. That might be a bubble spot. Hey, that's a bubble spot. That's a bubble spot. Ronnie. Right there. My gosh. My look at there. Don't y'all look at this. Son, look at that. Put him in the minor tank there, Ronnie. We're going to weigh that in there, buddy. Put him in there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, I'm telling you, we on him. Yeah, we on him. <laughs> yeah, we on him. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie's on him. Woo! I love it. <laughs> Check his spotty bass out right there. He just, oh, Lord have mercy. Big and tell you I'm talking about. He did a pretty good. Yeah, that's a bubble spot. We're going to weigh this one right here. Got my bubble scales on. Now, let's see what's going to weigh. Good Lord, Ronnie. That's a three pound, 12 ounce spotted bass. Y'all can see right there. That's a heck of a spot. Yes, it is. Look at that. Look at that right there. Yeah, that's a heck of a spotted bass. Wheeler has got the spots. Yeah, right? three pound, 12 ounces. All right, folks, ain't nothing like it. Ronnie, gonna turn him loose right now. I mean, we're done caught, Ronnie. 23. Ronnie's keeping up with him in his head. Yeah. We're done caught 23. Bass, just bass. If you look right there where Ronnie's line is, it looks like a little swirl. That current's doing something different. It's probably going over a big rock or something right there. And that's where these fish right here are hanging out. 
they get in behind rocks and then when a minute comes by they can just run out from there and grab it and they don't have to use a lot of energy to do it Boy, I could tear up a corn dog right now, I tell you that much. I mean, I could, seriously. When you fish these bridge columns like we've been fishing, current is everything. And uh, as you can tell, they've cut the current quite a bit, so we don't even have a seam line, current seam right here. So that's going to slow the bite down, I would imagine. But maybe not, we'll see. And the one thing they've been doing in the Tennessee River, this part of the river, is they've been raising and lowering the water, which messes these fish up if you can take if you look over on that bank you can see where they've lowered the water today you can see those wet rock and then the dry rock looks like they've lowered it about a foot today so you can see on that bridge column right there where they've dropped the water sure can golly ronnie got another drag puller, drag puller. let me get back here and get that net they gonna jump yep. what is it I sure have been doing a lot of netting for Ronnie today. That's okay. Oh man, that's another big one, Ronnie. I seen it. Oh my gosh, Ronnie is absolutely <laughs> on these fish today. I don't know if they're spot or smallmouth. Oh no, another big smallmouth. Oh my gosh, look at here. <laughs> Ronnie, that in there is heavy. That's a short, stubby one there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that big. <laughs> That is a chunk. We gonna weigh that one. Good Lord, Ronnie. Leather wood. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of scooping today. And I appreciate it. Look at that. Now that's a chunk. 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 Yeah, that's a chunk, Ronnie. Let's weigh that one. Alright. Let's see what this near weigh. Well that near weigh, Ronnie, only weighs three pounds, seven ounces. That's Good. still a Good. still a beautiful fish. Yeah. Turn loose. He gone. gone. He gone. Ronnie. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> hey, what was you talking about your black eye? Remind you of what now? Well, when I was a kid, I watched Little Rascals, and they had a little hound dog that had a black circle around his eye. It was white. That's <laughs> what it, they named him Petey. That's what I feel like today. I feel like Petey. <laughs> you want to rub my ear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Ronnie. Bless his heart. Ronnie, you going to let me catch a big one? Yeah, here's your man. Ronnie, you going to let me catch yeah, one? I am. <laughs> Ronnie. I think Ronnie's enjoying this. Right. Hey, Ronnie, we ain't had this good luck on Pickwick lately, have we? No, we haven't. We haven't. No. It's on here. When people start complaining about fishing out of the back of the boat, you just remember this right here. Ronnie's in the back of the boat, and look at all the big fish he's done caught today. And so, fishing out of the back of the boat can be good. Can it, Ronnie? Absolutely. He said absolutely. Okay, I'm thinking get serious with it. I believe he's got a nothing. Got you got a nothing? Yeah. I believe you don't. He's not big. Now, there's what I've been catching. <laughs> Show him, Ronnie. I didn't mean to catch your fish. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, Ronnie's getting, he's catching his fish and my fish. Thank you. Right now, it's going on five o'clock. We're still catching fish. Now, Ronnie, we've been talking about current here. Now, how does this current affect the fish that we're catching here? They want to get behind some kind of structure behind rock. They want to get behind something that breaks the current. And if you look there, those that big concrete bridge there will break the current. And there's rock piles in behind that we're bouncing our bait over. We're just trying to keep in contact with the bottom and let the current bring it back and make it look natural as it goes over those rocks. And that's, that's what we're doing. Another thing this current will do, folks, too, is it'll congregate the fish. Yeah. When you don't have any current, these fish what they'll do, they'll spread out more. So they're harder to catch. When it, when it, when this current congregates in fish in one little spot, when you find that little sweet spot, you can just sit there and catch it. And that's what me and Ronnie's been doing. Ain't that right, Ronnie? Yes, we have. We found the sweet spot. Didn't we, Ronnie? I like it too. Yeah, we got the sweet spot right here. About where my line is. There he is. Yeah, you got him. I got him that time. This is good fish. Oh yes, yeah, good one. Get the net, Ronnie. Okay. They think to jump. What is it? Oh Lord! Look it! Oh, oh my gosh! What a big mean mouth! Oh, beautiful, beautiful big mean mouth oh, bass! I just caught. Lord have mercy! Goodness gracious! I believe that's a mean mouth. Yeah. Oh God! We on these big fish today, son. 
I don't know, that might be a, well, I don't know, it might be a spotted bass. It looked like a mean bass. Finally got me a decent fish. Probably about, nah, maybe three pounds, three and a half pounds. All right, folks, let's turn them loose. All right, look at that, what a pretty fish. Down in there. Go back now. Look, look down there. Down he went. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is a good one here. I think he's going to jump. He tried to. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a good one. Yep. That's a nice spotted bass. I mean, look at that. What a pretty thing. Sun just now starting to go down over there. And, uh, hey, I take these all day long right here. Look at that pretty fish. Well, that's the first one we've caught in, what, probably about 30 minutes, Ronnie? Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie's had a heck of an afternoon of fishing. And uh, I really enjoyed watching you catch all them fish, Ronnie. I and I really enjoyed scooping them up for you. <laughs> Bless his heart, and I hope y'all get to feeling better. Thank you. Folks, appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Thank y'all for watching. God bless each and every one of you.